If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenrolf here. I'm going to be jamming some Popper again. This is my Infect list. It's Crop Rotation Infect. So good old Glistenrolf, Blight Mamba, Icar Claw Mirror, and Rot Wolf. So only 13 creatures in the list. Our pump spells are Crop Rotation, Groundswell, Mutagenic Growth, Vines of Fastwood, and Protecting Ourselves with Apostle's Blessing. Lotus Petal for Ramp so we can get our turn one, not just Glistener Elf. Uh, we have Rancor and Seal of Strength for other pumps. We have 14 Snow Covered Forests. Snow makes absolutely no difference other than <coughs> making me take one damage off <laughs> Thermokarst. Uh, but what we care about is that we have mainboard utility. We have Bajugabog for Graveyard Hate. Matters not at all, pretty much, in this matchup. Looming Spires, plus one, plus one, first strike. Mortuary Mire, get a creature back on top. Sajiri Step, just protect the creature. And Teetering Peaks for extra damage. So, these look okay. Now, uh, as for my opponent, once again, we're going to be running up against good old, is it snow, is it scred, is it fairies, and that's, uh, is it ninjas. It's not fun. It's not where I want to be into all of this. Yeah, okay, so Majuka Bog may matter a little bit. Not really, though. Not realistically. This land base should look familiar to you because it's the exact same land base that we saw prior in the league. Um, so this is a keep, and I will keep as well. Cool. Alright, so just showing me that good old turn one mountain. Now, we only have a land But we can't, since we only have one land, we can't really not play the Glistener Elf here. I mean, it's a dead Glistener Elf if we play it. We're going for it, though. If we had another land, we could wait so that we could hold up vines. Uh, see an EOT bolt here. EOT scred. Show me bolt. And... Is dead gem. There we go. Called it. Called it. Now, only two lightning bolts. So that's why I changed it to scred, but nevertheless, that'll do it. So that's probably the game. Knowing my luck, that's probably the game. We need a forest or a petal or another glistener elf to even keep playing. Augur is good. No response. My opponent has the deck list. They know I'm not going to be countering this thing. Nor do I have anything to play before it. Uh, mm, yeah, this is not looking good for T1 Glistener Elf here. Well, rip T1 Glistener Elf, I suppose. Poor guy. I guess the FNM promo is a girl. It matters. It totally matters. Gonna play out a Seal of Strength. Pass the turn. Right on time. Ripperino. Yeah, poor Glistenroff could have used that. Alright, I'll be taking one. Yeah, that's a 1 3. That's not fun. Alright, so they're gonna give up Counterspell. Oh, because ah uh, ha 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 ha! Hey, that's, that's a good reason, I suppose. Yeah, we're we're done this game, unfortunately. We are done this game. We're not making it too far. This is not a great matchup. Also, kept a one lander. That'll do it too. If I had a seal of strength, I could have played that first and then tried for the Glistener Elf afterwards. Uh, with the mountain coming down first, that line would have been safer because I wouldn't have to worry about counterspell on the Elf itself. Oh. It went back up. Oof. Yeah, so left click and right click make it go in different directions to this, and I guess my touch pad, 
touchpad registered the wrong direction. So uh, that'll do it, I guess. Oops. Coffee, which I could use plenty of, apparently. Yeah, that explains the long delay there. Uh, okay. We're about to take another hit. It's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. Alright. Yeah, not yet. Right click, make a deal too. Yeah, that's why you saw it there, it changed from 20 to 19, and then from 19 to 20. I thought that I was hitting uh, minus one to make it go to 18. I was not. All right, so this, this Blight Mamba, Mamba, Blight Mambo number five, is not resolving. There's a counter spell here, I can feel it. I'm checking to make sure there's no days, uh, but on the extreme off chance that it is resolving, I'm gonna do this little number. <laughs> I say extreme off chance. Um, yeah, we're gonna hold up that vines. Do what we have to do. No response, you say? Okay. Pass turn. Oh, you know what? You know what? With... Mm, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Evolving wilds can go and get um, another snow land, and then scred would be lethal, even through the seal. So... It's probably all right to do it this way. All right, there we go. Well, we'll see. Um, you know, so Rancor is actually pretty nice here. It'll it'll try anyway to get me through these these bodies. All right. Do I go for it? Um. I'm going to go for it, actually. Oh, I did it first. I did it first. Okay, okay. I did it first. There's a counterspell. I did it first. I should have waited on my opponent. No, 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 I shouldn't. I had to, in response to the seal sack. Yeah, yeah, that's what I assumed. That's what I assumed. Oh, okay. Cool. Was not expecting that to work out. Well, okay then. Let's see what else you have going for me, or going against me. I know you have an Augur of Bolas. There's no way that's not coming out, right? That's That's gotta be a thing, I think. I think it has to be a thing. Okay. So given that they didn't seem to have count- Ooh, and another forest. That's fine. I'm okay with this. Uh, how about... We do... Rancor? You don't have a spell stutter, or you would have used it, I think. I would think. Why are you doing this now? Why didn't you do this on the vines? Okay. Oh, geez, they're stuck. All right, I was told I need to refresh when this happens, so that's what I'll do. I'll refresh. I'm not rage quitting. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> nice. Combat? Alright, took three. Um, I think there's a case for me... No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna leave it. I'll keep up my regen mana, and I could have done Groundswell there, you see. And then I wouldn't need to use any pump spells on the next turn, I would just have lethal. But then there's the toughness to consider too. Okay, 
So what's this? We know that they have a ninja. Well, okay. They're going to do the auger first, which is fair. They're going to do the auger first. Uh, we know that the ninja is about to start showing up. Fairy's going to swing. They just got counterspell. Yeah, that seems okay. That seems pretty good. And they have blue blue. So if they want to use the ninja here, they will have to give up counterspell. Oh, that's a bolt. That's a bolt. Um... Well, I know that they have... The, the vines isn't good here because I know they have counterspell. So I need to use... It's regen shield. I hope that gets there. Alright. So, uh, that's a thing. And that makes me a little bit wary of what's about to happen. Are you going to give up the ninja? Do it. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. All right, so taking one. They're gonna hold up that counter spell, as they probably should. All right, let's see what this card is. Petal. That's not particularly great. <clears throat> It's not a true land drop, so it doesn't turn on uh, Groundswell as well as I would like. We'll play it out, though. Lotus Petal. Um, I guess I should go to combat here. Looking like three. Uh, no blocks. Okay, so this Groundswell is more or less free at this point, and here's what I mean. It's not going to protect my creature from Bolt, it's not going to protect them from Scred, the only thing it protects them from at this point is Fire. Which is a card, but it's a one of. And I guess I could try to make my opponent burn a Counterspell here. See if I can get them to do that. We're going to burn the counterspell. Well, no, they're not going to burn the counterspell. They're not going to do that. Oh, they are! Okay. Kicked vines. Oh wow, how did you- how? It wasn't lethal. Okay, maybe they misread. Maybe they thought I had landfall. Oh, because I played- I played the pedal, so maybe they subconsciously thought he got landfall and this is lethal. Okay, that- that might be it. Maybe. Or it could just be an abundance of caution, like... Uh, I don't know. If- if I let this spell resolve, he doesn't have to cast any more spells from here on, because it's already under Rancor. Um... I guess that's fair. So Ranger's Guile comes in. We're going to sideboard probably the same way we did last time. Although now I have a little bit more of an idea, I think, of how to do it. Smoldering Spires is interesting. I think I take Spires over Bajookabog. Even though Bajookabog does a tiny bit in the match, it deals with accumulated knowledge a little bit. Uh, Pulsa Marasa buys me maybe a turn, but importantly it gets a creature back. Uh, more importantly, we're looking for... There you are. Take down. Four damage uh, to target creature with flying, or one damage to each creature with flying. Uh, so those are in. Cards to take out. Let's see. So crop rotation is actually kind of bad against the counterspell heavy deck. But I say that, and I think I'm only seeing... Yeah, I'm only seeing four counterspells. So... Maybe not... Granted, counterspells and cantrips, so maybe it's not the same. Alright, so our land count's the same. 
Mutagenic Growth, similarly, is kind of bad against the Counterspell deck. It's also bad against the Bolt deck. Plus two, plus two does not work well against plus three, or three damage. So I think that that's how we're going to sideboard. Land for land, and then... I don't think I would like to go for Pulse. Maybe on the play, but... Uh, I don't know, even then. Even then. Alright, so let's see. I've done my sideboarding, has me having shuffled. Uh, this is two lands, and one that I can crop rotate away. And this is a Teetering Peaks, so I can get a turn two, six damage Glistener Elf real quick. Um, the, the, the Rancors. Now, I don't see any way to protect my Glistener Elf other than crop rotate the Teetering Peaks into a Sejiri Step. So what we're going to do is try to turn one Glistener Elf, hope it lives. If it dies, I can Mortuary Mire the Peaks to get Glistener Elf back on top. If it lives, I can play the Peaks and then have Crop Rotation up to protect it. Um, or I can Rancor it's Oh, gee, Mold of Five. Okay. We're, we're keeping hard. We're keeping hard this time. I'm going to check to make sure this is recording. It's recording. Okay. I, I have that worry every now and then. We're going to scratch our nose and down some coffee really quickly. Caffeine. Oh, hey. That's good, too. Means we kind of get to have our cake and eat it, too. Uh, we're probably still going to play the Glistener Elf because, well, T1 Glistener Elf. But also, I could now play the seal. Do I have to go that? I think I, I think I can afford to go that bold. I'm so used to typing T1 Glistener Elf as one word that it's weird to me to put spaces there. Like, I don't know, I, I had a, a mix, I had crossed wires up here. Am I gonna... Okay, got an island, good. Good. Oh, uh, speak, by the way, uh, one brainstorm in the three Ash Bear and four Evolving Wilds list. That is fewer than I personally would prefer, but Ponder is better than Brainstorm in all likelihood in the context of the format. That's not usually the case, but in this context, I think that I think that's fair enough. And it's dead, Jim. Now, I can put the Glistener Elf on top gonna do upkeep crop rotate here I believe good in other words does it resolve Oh, this is this is this may be a reader. This may be a card that has to be read. It's weird. Uh, unfortunately, it is weird. Yeah, there could be a brainstorm in response or something. So we're gonna go and find. Where are you, bud? Mortuary Mire. Put Mortuary Mire into play, and then go and get Glistener Elf, and put Glistener Elf on top of the deck. Draw it for turn. Now, what are the odds that they have two removal spells in a mold to five hand? It's guaranteed, right? <laughs> That's how this works. It's guaranteed. Uh, yeah, I can't do the crop rotation trick I just did twice, unfortunately. There's only one Mortuary Mire in the deck. Only one. Yeah, so if I get a bolt or a scred or a fire and ice here, I'll just be I'll just be sad. I'll be in top deck mode for a little while. Hmm. 
Yeah, that would not be particularly helpful. If I can get this glistener off to survive another turn, and to be fair, part of the reason I'm doing this is because they mold to five. The odds, I did give myself a little bit of disadvantage by putting glistener elf on top of the deck, skipping on a draw step basically, but I think that's okay because I started at seven cards and they started at five. So even if I minus one myself, I'm still one card ahead of them and they need two sources of removal. Um, where are you, bud? Where did you go? Uh, I'll just ask AFK. And in the meantime, so after this I'm going to be playing another match. It'll be against Alpho, who's a, who's a vintage player. I don't know, he may be one of those people that's in every format, but uh, he's going to be my opponent in vintage. And he's on Karn Shop, so that'll give you something to look forward to. Karn not hidden the uh, ban and restricted li announcement, which, you know, or in, in Vintage. Uh, I guess it works. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Somebody just pinged me. And I will find out later. But for right now... Oh, well, I mean, I guess I have a moment. How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Are you enjoying the uh, untapped.in shenanigans that I have going on these days. Um, don't get to go off to an LGS all too often, so this is the, the magic that we have. Um, don't have MTGO. I have been encouraged by Magical Hacker, go follow him on YouTube or Twitch, that uh, I should get into MTGO. Um, but I'm, I guess I like paper an awful, 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 awful lot. Um, is my connection being weird? Is that what's going on here? I mean, it says I have... Signal... Nani? Okay. Ask if he's... If he's here. This is not... You don't want to see a, a forfeit. That's not how we want this to end. I'm assuming... I'm hoping it's just AFK, and I, I know nothing about... Telltale, a.k.a. Ajax, so I don't know if we're talking about Wi-Fi crash. Okay, okay, it wasn't my Wi-Fi that crashed, it was you. Okay. EOT, brainstorm, right? Is that what we're doing? Brainstorm. Cool, got it. Feels good, actually. Uh, well, no, not necessarily. Okay, so they have Ash Barons in the deck, so there is a chance that we could put them back and then upkeep Ash Barons to shuffle. Uh, you know, when you're used to seeing fetch lands in order to do that job, Ah, <sighs> it's a different experience. Okay, so we're gonna see. Now I'm worried, actually. Now I'm a little bit worried. God, why? Okay, no. That happens, that happens. <laughs> I say God, why? Because that's, that's entirely on me. That's on me. Alright, what you got? Is this a... Uh, oh, Ash Barons. There it goes. There it goes. And getting an island, yep, so we can have Counterspell up next turn. So we have... We have assembled the Snow Voltron here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, folks. Never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. I am not going to learn my lesson. I'm going to just play this thing out again. And say, pass the turn. I am going to assume that of the seven uh, handed uh, seven spot removal spells they play two eventually they're going to run out eventually that's going to happen Ugh. I swear don't you fire this th oh my god <laughs> I was under no pressure! Why did I not just play the seal there? Okay, the actual answer is because of Counterspell. I'm worried about letting them get Blue Blue back up. But, uh... <laughs> Jeez. Jeez there. Uh... And with a second green source, I could have crop rotated for a Sajiri step to protect it. Or, actually, just 
to to shiggles them, I could have crop rotated for uh, not teetering peaks, but the other one. Uh, give it plus one plus one in first strike, so enough to keep it alive. Yeah, n n there it is, looming spires. Now we're in trouble, folks. Now we're in trouble. I'll put this in play. Tapped. Play out the seal of strength. Just prepare as best we possibly can. And, uh, and we'll try to get there. My turn again. Okay. Upkeep. Float black. See if this crop rotation resolves. It is a trap. It is a trap. See if it works. What do you say, opponent? We doing it? There are a couple of reasons for this. I'm trying to get Green Green built back up. I'm trying to deck thin, and I'm trying to bait my opponent into a counterspell here. And their character faded. Their Wi-Fi must be conking out again. I'm probably not winning this game, but what I would do to peek at the top card in my deck. What I would do... Ah, <laughs> uh, well. So, uh... Just to make sure. Just to make sure. You never know. Okay, here we go. We're countering it. That's cool. That's fine. And then we'll draw. Ah, now that's not fine, though. That's not fine. So we, we successfully baited the counterspell. That's one less counterspell to worry about. And hopefully we can get to a point where if we find another creature, it will just resolve. There's a Blight Mamba. I'm a big fan of Blight Mambo number five. I've already made that joke. I can't make that joke again. All right, two cards in hand. I swear to God. You had it! <laughs> you had it! All right. Well, at least you don't have any pressure either. I'm not going to concede. I'm going to make you do it. <laughs> I'm going to make you find something. Granted, they have cantrips and more creatures than I have. So, they're likely to get there first. They are indeed. And I'm not doing myself any favors, unfortunately. Alright. Draw. There's a pedal. I swear, if you counter this pedal... And pass turn. Alright, they drew. Okay, just draw a go, draw a go. I almost accidentally hit the draw button again. Oh, that would not have been good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, just keep playing lands. I think at a certain point, aren't you supposed to just hold them up to bluff? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hey, got there. See how many glisten realms that is. T twenty <laughs> glistener elf. <laughs> okay, so uh obviously we're not gonna get the job done with the seal here, but we are gonna pop this for green. And uh vines. Protect it with vines, hopefully. See if that resolves.
Yeah, technically... <laughs> Tint cycle. Yeah. I swear. I swear. I hate this so much right now. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, what can you do? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on now, come on. What is going on? Uh, and there's a ninja. We're just hard casting ninjas now. Ah, uh, okay, we, we maybe played a little too much mana, but that's okay. It's okay. Maybe. Right on time, Ranger Skyle. Right on time. And... Four mana, two, two. Great and limited. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Alright. Yeah, now the game is... Now it's not going too well for me. Now it's really not going too well, because I'm going to be drawing a card, and they're going to be drawing two... That's not where I want to be. That's not where I want to be at all. Alright. Let's try this again. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, just in case we get a Rot Wolf, I'm gonna play this out. Alright, and pass turn. Just in case. Yeah, that's what we had hoped that we could crop our tape for earlier. I've come to talk with you again. Play a land. Cool. Take two. So we have both, they have both their mountains, and an auger, because why not? <laughs> why not? Oh, ponder, okay, I can live with ponder, they're gonna ponder here, I would assume. Uh, ponder's still a wild card, it's not counter target spell or kill target creature and make your opponent cry, make target opponent cry, it's not that. Ah, this is going well, oh, this is going well. I can't wait for vintage, I can't wait for vintage. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's see what we have. Nope, that's not it. Pass the turn. That's not it. Well... There's another world where instead of playing Crop Rotation Infect, I play Gruel Infect and Glistener Elf Reckless Charge, Triple Mutagenic Growth. <laughs> no. Did we. Oh, did we just. Why? Why did you put the Ash Barons into play? Why? Deck then, you have 11 islands! <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Uh, yep. One, two, three, four. Cool. Gonna draw. We're gonna give ourselves... We don't actually have enough time. Kind of. We kind of do. Ah, uh, crap. I did it early. GG. It doesn't matter. I, I did it early. I thought it had passed to me. It had not. Oops. I was dead anyway, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so maybe I can consider Pulse of Marasa as a one of, perhaps. But life, the life gain absolutely does not matter. It's just a way to, oh god, they kept on seven. Uh, it's just a way to get my creatures back. It's kind of like extra copies of creatures. Um, it also can work with Crop Rotation Mortuary Mire to give me another shot at getting a creature back, but that's just weird because you just get the creature back instead and put it in your hand instead of on top of your deck. Unless you just weirdly enough need the mana. I don't know, it's, it's, it's a line I like to cover for comprehensiveness sake, but it's not a thing, not really. Okay, take down, please, show up. Uh... No. 
know. Well, this isn't going well. Yeah, the deck only has 19 lands. And of those, only 14 are green. So, uh, I shouldn't keep. I really shouldn't keep. I really shouldn't keep. If it had a Glistener Elf, I could play the seal. And since I'm on the play, I wouldn't have to worry about the Glistener Elf getting countered on the way down. On the next turn. T2 Glistener Elf. Thinking. Oh, as if it weren't obvious enough. Thinking. Yeah, the odds aren't great that there's another land or a petal here. Um, but if I mu this deck does not mulligan very well. But I think I have to. Ugh, speaking of... Hello? Okay, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. Oh, crap, crap, scry. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Didn't matter anyway. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm admitting salt. I'm absolutely admitting salt. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. This is not going to work out, but I'm going to keep. Now, I think this is the first time we've seen Icar Claw Mirror on camera from the deck, which is weird because it's a four of. This one is actually the best on block in the in the whole deck. It's just dead. <laughs> Have you no mercy? <laughs> yeah. You win 0% of the games that you concede. Right on time. I swear. Okay, okay. Okay, we're we're still we're still dead. But, uh, at least this is a thing. Uh, true indeed, you lose 100% of the games that you can see. Oh, my god. Yeah. Uh, what's that? It's a fairy seer. Well, we would need quite a run. That's the start. We have a creature again. And they couldn't counter it. Okay. Okay. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Please get there. 
No response. It's a ninja! Surprise ninja! Hey! Yeah, I didn't even... <laughs> didn't even change the life total. I already knew. Yeah... I mean, didn't even... Yeah, move straight to changing the life total. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Save the forest for a ground spell. I swear. Do you see this face? I am not amused. Why are you doing that? No, it's fine. Because it's a 2-2, two -two, you can't block anyway. So might as well get the one in. I, I wish that I could go back in time, and I, of course it's still Mulligan, because... Okay, if I, in the past, decided I wanted to Mulligan that first hand, which, fair enough, right? I wish that I had looked at the top card to see how it would have turned out. You know, as you do. Alright, so we're going to scry two before we draw a card off, off of our ninja. Okay. Okay, this is fun. It's dead. Stop! <laughs> Counter it. I dare you. Okay. Does this count as salty? Like when you're <laughs> when you're like this, that I don't know if that's ironic salt maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Well. Well. <laughs> in no one expects the look at the uh, the picture there. It's the uh, Monty Python Spanish Inquisition. All right, come on. Is there anything that can save me? That's a start. Why? Why? <laughs> you, you fiend! You're e <laughs> All right. Just out of curiosity, how'd you sideboard, man? I don't know. Your sins will be purged. <laughs> Mercy! <laughs> Uncle! <laughs> Alright, yep, fair enough. Uh, takedown. Let's see. 2x takedown. 2x. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ranger's Guile. That's right.
smoldering spires. Kabajuka. And mutagenics. I mean, you know. <sighs> Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Thank you. Alright, take care. And uh, for you all as well, I will see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>